I'm John Henry. At 18, I started my first company, and within two years, I successfully sold that company. Now I'm working with small entrepreneurs to help them navigate the world of building their own businesses. When you invest in a company, what do you look for? How do you, how do you look at deals? As a venture investor, see, venture capital is very different than other mm. kinds of investing, right? Yes. I own real estate. Mm. Every month, I get rent checks. Yes. I, you get residuals. Yes. If you're in private equity, when you buy cash flowing businesses, like I own a dental practice mm. and a cafe, so every month you get distributions. That's right. Right. In venture, you don't make a lick, you don't make shit until the company gets sold. Yes. And so it's a very different kind of investing, right? It's higher risk, you get a lot more potential for zeros because everyone's swinging for the fences. Mm -hmm. But what you do get, you get the opportunity to potentially invest in the company that ends up shaping and, and the market as a whole. Correct. Right? So let, let's, take, could be. let's take Gary Vee, for example. He invested in Uber in their mm -hmm. Series A round. Mm -hmm. Uber, as massive as they are, he hasn't made a single dollar off that mm -hmm. investment. And he won't until they go public. Mm -hmm. They're going public this year. They're filing a $120 billion valuation. Gary's gonna make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Right? So anyway, so what do we look for then? Now mm -hmm. that I painted the picture of what venture is, well, we look for, okay, can I get in at a good enough valuation early on mm -hmm. so that we don't need a very massive exit to make our money back? Mm -hmm. If we can invest in a five to $10 million valuation, mm -hmm. if that company sells at 50 or 100 million, mm -hmm. we're, that's making a, that's our, a good return. we're making our returns. Yes. So we look for that, we look for- They're not looking necessary for a unicorn or anything like that. Exactly. Okay. Right? If it happens, it happens, it's great. Exactly. Yeah. But well, we want to be more money. strategic about yeah. it. The other thing that I will say that I think will help founders mm -hmm. is this is a very like reverse engineer kind of approach, right? Because okay. what we'll say is like, okay, most companies in, we invest across sectors, let's say beauty or hemp or legal, let's say. Mm. Most companies are being acquired at this valuation mm. when they're making this amount of revenue. Mm. Yes. Right, so the sweet spot right now is that once you start making 10 million to 20 million in revenue, mm. your likelihood to be acquired for a nice number mm. goes up. Mm. So then as seed stage investors, we say, okay, they're making 1 million right now in revenue. Mm. What do they have to do to go from one to 10. Mm. What can they optimize, right? Exactly. What can they refine? Got and it. if we see a clear path and mm. we understand that the founder kind of gets it, mm. then things start looking like we're gonna invest. And that is a glimpse that I've never offered before. This is more the science of venture nice. capital. Do you also talk to the founders ahead of time? Hey, I know maybe you have a big dream, you wanna build it to you know, a billion dollar company, but really as an investor, we're looking for that sweet spot. When you get to that 10, 20 million, we're gonna sell. That's a good point. The answer, unfortunately, is no. I don't do that as, enough, as much as I'd like mm. because when we're evaluating for investment, we need a founder who's already there. Got it. So what I wanna do and what this show and my show mm. helps me do is actually educate entrepreneurs mm. so before they go fundraise, Got they're it. ready to have that conversation. Got it. So Got content it. ends up being a really nice play here. Got it. And, and when you invest, uh, what else do you do to, to add value as, as a VC? Do you coach them? Do you yeah. help them with? Uh, maybe give them some exposure? Like what do you do to add value? Yeah, that's a great question. One thing that we do have as a firm is we have a lot of visibility for mm. a venture capital firm. Mm. So we have a nice brand that people want to have on their cap table. Yes. They want us invested in them. Yes. And as our brand grows, we become more marquee, more and more people want that. So people know that you're in then, right? Exactly, yeah. so we signal the market, mm. right? So our goal is to kind of be the premier diversity focused firm mm. so that we get the best deals mm. um, in this space. And as you said, the moment we stamp them, then if a founder is raising, let's say $2 million mm. and we write them a million dollar check, just because we invested a million, our hopes is that other people will flock around and we can right. fill their rounds up. Right. So that's one of the areas. Um, we do a bunch of other like more technical stuff, but I think we're still young as a firm, so we're staying open to, okay, what are gonna be the real areas of value? Because I'll tell you something, it's really easy to have a really good answer on paper. Yeah. Oh, we'll add value because we'll do, you know, portfolio management and this and sales and yes. marketing. But then like when you invest and the company says, hey, let's do this right you gotta be ready to go right so we're taking our time with it are you staying uh, uh, in certain sectors in certain industries or are you pretty you're pretty open to any cross sector okay. because remember only two percent of all venture capital is going to 70 percent of the population correct 
if we slim it down and get industry specific, mm, we're gonna leave so limiting. many deals yeah, on the table. That's true, that's so true. we wanna be everywhere right now. And then How many deals on average you're looking on, 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 let's say on a monthly basis? We're looking to do about an, uh, one deal a month. Okay. So venture capital. How many deals come across your table? Uh, last year we saw 378 deals mm. year to date. Mm. And we have roughly a, we had a roughly a one to two percent investment rate, mm. um, so we have to increase that. Kind of look at a hundred and then ten due diligence and then pick one. Right? Correct. So, mm. so you know that's the way that the math works out. And venture is funny because the numbers work against you, as you mm. saw. Yes, that's right. Until the numbers work for you. That's right. Because if you have a big enough portfolio, that's right. Something's gonna pop.